But look at all these shells. I think this is why they call it shell I can smell the shore. It's right in front of us if we just hold on. We're coming to you today from beautiful Shell Island, which is very near our campground. That's right, and it's in Panama City, Florida. We're staying at St. Andrews State Park, and we took a short boat ride over here. We're going to tell you all about it. Look ahead, the sea is calm, and I know we've been through a lot, but just wait. For better days to come and carry us like wind in our sails. Hold on tight. I can smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we just hold on tight. This vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn. Hey folks, it's Mike and Angel with Retro RV Recon. Good morning. We're coming to you today from this beautiful St. Andrews State Park. Yeah, it is beautiful. And we're in Panama City, Florida. So stick around. We're going to do the campground drive through And during the campground drive through we're going to share with you some of the things that we've done in our stay here in the area. And after that, we're going to do the site walk around. And we do this for every, every campground, campground, every, every site, every, every time. time. Here we go. Campground drive through, not the site drive through, but the campground. That would be something to have a site drive through. And we are in Florida. We haven't said that yet. Panama yeah. City. This, I forgot the name of this road. Is it Thomas? St. Thomas or Thomas? I think it's Thomas. It's Just this Thomas. park is at the very end of the road. Yeah, at the end of the street. So you check. You don't check in right here, but they they direct you what to do right here. You can see somebody stick their head out the window. <laughs> they waved at us. <laughs> All right, off to the to the right. That's where you check in. You have to check in right there when you come in. There's a nature center on the inside. Uh, you can park right here on the front. We parked on the back side. That's the registration building. Yeah. Thank you, Peg. That's mm -hmm. what it's called, a registration building. That's where you pick up your maps and info on Yeah. That. And you can see the wildlife, the examples of the Watch wildlife. The turtles. So right here, there's a road that says Shell Island Ferry. That's where we did some bike riding too, baby. We did. We rode our bikes all the way out to the <clears throat> pier that's out there on the beach. It's. The I was saying <laughs> how tough it can be to pedal this thing. <laughs> Make sure the camera is facing the right way. And not wreck. <laughs> What's left of last night behind? I need to get some peace of mind. And when I need some peace of mind, I, I know where to find it. There, by the end of the road. The State Park Beach, which is exclusive to visitors of the state park either day use or campers yeah. and it is beautiful out there it is oh my gosh so beautiful nice and slow let me give everybody the view look at that can yeah, you hear that ocean in we, the background we rode our electric bikes over here we did it's not too far from our campground maybe a little too far i wouldn't walk this far but no don't walk look at that pier look how pretty that is See behind us, there are no buildings back there. No, this is beautiful. State park nice. area behind us. Let's make a full circle so they can see okay. where Panama starts. Look at the those city. white mountains in the background. Oh, wait, those are sand dunes. <laughs> it's so pretty it's here. A lot different from what we did uh, Very last different. Time. Very different. There All you right. go. There are the buildings. There's Panama City Panama in the city. distance. All right. And then we meet some wonderful people out here all the time. Wonderful 
people, especially the locals we talk to. Always give you a good place to go. Yeah, good restaurant. I was trying to think of the word pavilions. There are pavilions out yeah. there, beautiful pier, but you can actually walk down the stairs to the beach itself, and it's yeah. The water is <clears throat> unbelievable. It looks tropical. It's such a pretty color, blue green, and oh my gosh, the the beaches are spotless. It just looks you have to come see it. Yeah. It is so beautiful. It, and we're out here in December, so it's really not crowded at all. No. You kind of get the beach to yourself for the most part. No, you're away from the Panama <clears throat> City crowds. Yeah. Because the state park has its own beach. So turning left right here is where the campsite, the camp, the campers go, and to the right is going over to the general store and the boat launch. Mm -hmm. We might have a chance to show them that, right, baby? Yep. Campers only. There's a lot of bike riders out here. The ground's pretty good for bike riding, too. It is. Yeah. There's not a whole lot of hills or anything. A couple of sections are kind of rough on a bike ride, but... And when you come here, you won't always have this tree, but if you look straight ahead in front of the truck, there's a red <laughs> and white retro RV camper. Check that Prettiest out. Prettiest camper in the whole campground. I always <laughs> say it. All right, we're going to start. We're going to take a look. Right here is, of course, you can see the campground. We're going to take a right, and we're going to start on the right side with site number one. And check out this wow factor. This is called... <clears throat> Grand Lagoon you're looking at right here. Look at that. You make the loop, you make that turn, and there it is. Grand Lagoon. Oh, you're going to get a treat. <laughs> you get to watch the guy doing the raking. Y'all, this is what they do to maintain this campground. They rake the rocks to keep the sites level. They were raking in Site 1, by the way. Mm -hmm. Site 1. Yeah, you can see the signs. Yeah. Some of these, there's number four to the right yeah. that's empty right now. There's a car. And then, what is that? Looks like it says swinger, swinger on the camper. Swinger, number five. Look at the <clears> trees, <throat> how pretty. They do look kind of close together, don't they, Michael? But they every do. site has a grassy area, either on the sides or behind. Yep. It's really nice. Site number seven, site number eight. And even though you might be on the wooded side of the street, you still have a beautiful view of the Grand Lagoon. Yeah. Yep. So even though you might, <clears throat> your site might not be on the water, you can still enjoy it. That Ram 2500, was that site 11? This is a well-manicured campground. It is. Look at and it's a state park, too. Site 15, 16, and I believe <clears throat> 17 are all yeah. like those tincture tents that we have at home for glamping, I guess. You don't yeah. have to bring your own equipment or your own. <clears throat> you just stay in one of those. Site 19 is the coachman. All, all, all of these sites are level, front and back, side to side. You can see the numbers very clearly on our video. They're easy to read. Another bathhouse back here, mm -hmm. which are nice, clean. They are very nice bathhouse. All right. You see, by the way, some folks are dressed. It's a little cool out this morning. A little windy, a little breezy. <clears throat> so this is campsites 21 through 79. And there's 21 on the right. You kind of tucked away back here a little bit, but uh, you, you will, as we make the turn, you'll see some sites have some water, yeah. some water access. And there is a walking path. I don't know if you were able to see that on the road already. We're coming up on site 26, the adventurer. Kind of lift kit I need right there. And I love the little fencing. It just adds a lot to the aesthetic. Yeah, thing. it gives you a little sense of privacy. Yeah, and it kind of lets you know what your uh, parameters are. Here's a pull through site 35. Mobile grooming. <laughs> what if they're camping? Hmm. Turn it in just a little bit. That's right. 
There's another bathhouse. <clears throat> so site. Let me back up and catch this. Site 38 is a pull through. Does it look like it's very long though? I think that might be a handicap spot there. It might be. Because it's it's cemented, it's concrete. Yeah, I bet you're right. And it's right by the restroom across yeah, the street. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That's handicap. Mm -hmm. So it's site 38 is, doesn't say it is, but I'd imagine that it is because, you know, the handicap spots are uh, concrete. Here's a few more. All these yep. on the inside loop. 39, 40, and 41 are pull throughs. Pull throughs, but they look like they'd just be big enough for the camper. Yeah. In sight, you can't. Can't see 43 anymore. through 56 straight ahead now these are still being um redone right michael that's right being worked on that's it's right. not that's open mr. yet said that right mr cameron over at the camp store told us that they're still doing work on that section but all total this campground has 146 campsites so when that back loop back there gets done those would be the sites that are closest to the beach. Yeah. The Gulf Beach. Look at this Grand Lagoon. Look at that. Site 60 is the empty one. It looks like almost well, could be a buddy site because it's money closed. I guess not, huh? But site 60 and 61, you have a really nice view of the water. You could put your kayaks in the water right there you at your sure campsite. Could. Site 62 still has a little bit of water front, but uh, you start to lose it for the... Um, for the underbrush and the mm -hmm. trees mm -hmm. at 64. But still, you can look down, <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. towards the beach, you can <clears throat> see a lot I'm of water I'm going to turn the views. camera back to the left, since there's nothing really over there. 68 is a pull through. 69 is a back end. An Arctic Fox is a nice big rig That's in That's a there. big rig. And yet, there's still room for two vehicles yeah. too on the gravel to park it's like 70 they're all real nice man mm -hmm. just a nice little bandy there look at that they do ask you when you register when you show up how long your rig is they want to make sure that the site that you reserved will accommodate your rig so i think that's a good thing they do to double check look how beautiful this is so site 73 and 74 76 all have you have a view of the water. I don't know if you have access to it or not. It looks like you have a little access. Yeah, down I can there. see a little pass yeah. almost at every campsite going down to the water. And that yeah, airstream. Oh, I missed the number, baby. <clears throat> I called them out a second okay, ago. Good. So Look for a ways here. up on the right, there's no there are no campgrounds. So I'll okay. show you this little Just common the full area. View. Yeah. Looks like they had something set up here this weekend, or they're gonna have something set up this week. There is a centrally located fire pit right there. Yeah. But they're putting on uh, like a checkerboard. Oh, there's a little stage area. <clears throat> Michael, maybe we should tell them about that restaurant we went to. Hey, hey, hey. The name of the restaurant was called Dad Cajun Place. And who did we see while we were eating there, Michael? We saw that Santa Claus. We saw Santa <laughs> Claus. Now, this is December. We saw Santa Claus, baby. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling, baby. Oh, ah. oh, yeah. Wow. I don't like we had dogs. Baby. At that Cajun place. Let's in check the, it out. And in, in it's down the bar. <laughs> it's in a... You ever heard of a shrimp crawfish? <laughs> a shrimp crawfish? Because <laughs> a crawfish is so we little. We want crawfish and they get a shrimp crawfish. Because it's little. Mm -hmm. So now we're headed to sites 80 to 158. Yep. And we're favoring the uh, the water waterfront. That's site 80 with that black pickup. 
the Montana. Yeah. Look at that. Look at 81 and 82. Look, look at, at that. that. Oh, look, 81 has a tent on it, so mm -hmm. tents are welcome, no doubt. Mm -hmm. There were tents on a lot of the sites yeah. this past weekend. There were some tents across from us. Yep. Mm -hmm. 83, 84, and 85 are coming into view. Look how beautiful this is. I will tell you, right off this waterway like this, it gets windy. Watch his puppy. I see, I see all, all of the puppies. Mm -hmm. They got some wildlife out here, too. They have deer. We've seen deer egret, everywhere. Eagles, herring. herring. Uh, yeah, oh, we, I think we saw a brown eagle. I'm not sure. And then they got osprey out here. There you go. Thank you very much. We just wanted a little smile from you. Right at our campsite in the trees where yep. we were. So that's... Uh, the white truck is 89. The reflection. And 90 is the premiere. That's a nice long rig right there. And they have a path down to the water. Now I'm going to tell y'all, sites 92 and 93, if I had, we were coming back, we will find site 91, I mean 92 and 93. 92 they are pull throughs and the awning faces the lagoon. Mm hmm. I think those are the only two that are set up just like that. Mm -hmm. and lots of green area in yeah. between your camper and the water. Yes, lots. Now we're headed to sites 93 to 158. And here's no, it can't be 158. It comes There's back only out 146 the other way. sites. Oh, well. Hold so on. They... No, there are, baby. They must have renumbered <clears> them. <throat> Okay. A C to one fifty eight. Good. So that cougar is in site ninety six. And what's ninety seven is the uh the van. And ninety nine is that cool looking retro R V that we see all the time. Folks, this is just a few steps away from our campsite. Just a second, you're gonna see that in the background. Look at that. Give you a better shot there. There we go. This cool little beach right out. We actually found a few shells out here already we did this find, morning. We found some shells with some life still nice. in it, so we set them back down. Yeah, we didn't keep those. Look at that. There's the red truck. Look at that. Right there. We're going to show you that site in the site walk around. Yep. Stay tuned for that one. Mm -hmm. This is a beautiful campground. Yep. Nice and pretty. And there All we right. are, back to the beginning. All right, folks. Retro RV recon. Oh, you know what we need to tell him about too? Cody. That's right. We, Cody. Cody came over and he set up a camper. That's what and he what, does. He sets up a camper and he rents the camper out to folks that don't have a camper but want to go through the experience of going camping. But not RV. this one you're looking at. That's no. not his uh, Class A. He had a travel trailer camper Correct. when we first uh, got North, here. Georgia, North Alabama area? North, North Alabama, Alabama, Alabama for sure. Like, been to oh. 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 I'm, actually, I'm actually from uh, Alexander City, which is oh, wow. you may pass through there going to Chihaw. So I grew okay. up like 30 minutes from Chihaw. Oh, Check our video. You'll we, love it. Yeah, we went out that way. We do a lot of the uh, funny enough, we do a lot of the north camping in the winter time. So yeah, we freeze our butts. No, that, that's when I like to do it. Yeah, the, in the you know, so we would not get some snow on the ground. Yeah, right. the nicest young man you would ever want to meet. Yeah, we talked to him for a little while. You can look up on his listing on Outdoorsy is Happy Campers. Yep. That's right. And so he was telling us how he rents out his travel trailer for people who are maybe trying to decide whether they want an RV or not. Yeah, yeah real, real nice guy, too. But so how don't... cool is that? You don't have to worry about anything. They'll set it up for you. You come, you show up, you camp. He comes back and mm -hmm. takes care of it and pulls it out. Yeah, but go ahead and check, uh, check him out. Yeah, real nice man. All right, what's this... Uh... Forward in 104 and then 105 is empty. But still, look at those views. How yep. beautiful. You see 106. That's a big rig there. That reflection. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's, it's being a big pulled ram. By a ram <laughs> I knew look, that was a uh, regular cab. I knew that was coming. Oh, that looks kind of cool. That is, cab. That is like cool. That. I like it's that a good truck. Shining truck, too. <clears throat> that looks like Santa's ride. It sure does. I'll be darned. What if he was camping in the campground the whole weekend with us, Michael? Maybe so. 
we'd have never known. We could have mm -hmm. got a gift. <laughs> Being at this campground, the gift is beautiful yes. here. We've decided we can no longer have a favorite campground because they are all so nice and mm -hmm. so individual. I think we're getting really good at picking them out too because this state park, oh my gosh, it just everything about it, the close proximity to the beach and just um, our whole stay here has been really low key and relaxing. Yeah. You see this um, solitude is a pretty good size rig. They, they made it fit. They made it work in site mm -hmm. um, 124. So we're heading across the street into a loop that has sites 125 to 146 according to the sign over there. Yes. If you go left, you'd be heading to the exit. Yes. So here we go, 125 to 146. Let's take a look at these. And uh, we drove through here yesterday to just to look at them. And mm -hmm. these sea sites, are they seem to be a little bit bigger. They do seem a little bit longer. So it's 125 on the left side. No, they're pretty puppy. 126 on the right, 128. Is a big site. But look at that tree shade. How nice yeah. that would be. You have one thirty, which is a has the cougar in it. That looks like a, a smaller site. Are we going to talk about these pull throughs in the center? Well, when we get around, I guess we we can talk about them. I have to pull the camera out and point it directly at them. Okay, let's wait till we get on around the corner okay. then, and we'll show you all those. It's one thirty one having breakfast. 132 has this uh, big class A in it. Mm -hmm. 133 has the black board. There's a the camp camp host. They got firewood. firewood. I don't sell that firewood. Baby, let's pause right here and turn the camera and show them these two sides. All right, so there it is. Do you, okay, let's look at your loops and see what numbers those are, though, baby. I don't know where we are on here. That's 127. And 129. Right. 129 is, is where the cobalt is. The saber? Yeah. Yeah. So it's 129 right here where the saber is, and then 127 that's empty. Yeah. In the middle of this back loop. So 129 is, isn't is as big as um, 127. 127 is a long site, mm -hmm. very long, old through site. They are both awesome. full throughs. It's right across the street from the campground hose, too. So. Yep. All right, now back to the left. You're looking at 135. Okay, 135. Let me set the camera down. Angle it a little bit more. Yeah, 135. 135 looks like it's about total length, maybe 65 yeah. feet. We would fit in there. Easy. Mm-hmm. It's really, oh, it's nice and secluded back there, too. Oh, look at that. And then you got all these hills that the kitties can Yeah, climb. man, you kind of got some peace and quiet in 135. Mm -hmm. Those palmettos are yeah. so pretty everywhere. Look at this drive. Look how pretty these trees are. Yep. It's just so nice, y'all. And these two sites here are 136 and 137. Look, they have a mm -hmm. little bit of a view of the, of the water. Oh, look, there is a water view. 136 is, 136 is a big site. 135 is pretty big. I mean, 36 and 37 are nice size mm -hmm. sites. And your awnings face the water. <clears throat> yeah, they face the water. That was nice planning. Yep. Let's give them a sweeping view. Yeah. There we go. All right. Here we go. Look at this. All the palm trees. All right. And palmettos. I think this is 138 is straight ahead. 139. Jim says 139 is empty. The reflection with the red truck is 140. It's a good looking red truck, too. We like red trucks, don't we, babe? Yep. Look Class at this. A is 141. Look how pretty that is with the blue toe. They're vehicle. all matchy matchy. <gasps> that is. And they have a unishark. <laughs> you see some tent campers there <clears> in the back. Yep. Yeah. Look like uh, it says. Parking for campsites 142, 144 only. Yes, those must be the tent sites. Yep. 142 to 144. 
Can I turn it a little hair more? Yes, you do what you got to do, Mom. All right, there we go. And on the right here is where you see the entrance <clears> to the <throat> loop that we just took yep. you on. And this last little leg right here, we're showing the inside loops. Mm -hmm. And you, like I've said this on, on a flow, they're raking. They're raking right now. You can see them. It's so awesome that they're doing that. What they're doing. I mean, when you first pull into this campground and you see your side is level and the the rocks are all nice and it's all manicured and it's just so nice. What site was that pull through radio? 147. Okay. One forty seven That's and a nice long pull through side. One forty eight looks like a handicap pull through. Yeah, right across from the restrooms, which Man. maybe you want to turn and show them the bathhouse. This is a nice good view right here. Dogs are right. not permitted in the bathhouse or around the bathhouse. Yeah, anywhere near a building. These folks are pretty pretty uh strict about their rules. There is a washer and dryer up there. The inside of the walkway. Yep. And here's site 150. It's probably another handicap spot because it's all concreted. Mm -hmm. But look at this site back here, 149. I yep. guess we already showed them that though, huh? Or did we? Maybe, maybe not. I'm There's a lot of grassy lot of area back here. So what sites 150, 53, and 57? Uh, they're nice sites. Uh, they're just, you know, your awning faces a wall of greenery. I mean, that mm -hmm. it's not bad. There's a patch of grass back there where your picnic table yeah, is. That's nice. I, I, you know, I would I just soon have some kind of a view of the water coming all the way to the Pause for the Ram 3500. Oh, hello there. That, that's a Ram 3500 <laughs> fleet side. Isn't that nice? We better not, nice I better truck. not pause too long right there. Every time I talk about something, I end up getting it. <laughs> It'd be a while. I don't need a 3500. There, you can see another bathhouse in view. Yeah. Those are really nice. They they look brand new on the inside. You I know. get a big red 3500. And you can see that it's a short walk from any campsite to the restroom. <clears throat> yeah. And of course, the um, the sites closest to the restroom are cement. Yeah. Or um. ADA approved 158. So those are the camp. Those are the, all the campsites. That's 158 mm -hmm. right here with this uh, east. What the name of that camper right there? East Alta. East West Alta. And then that right there is your general. Uh, that's your trash can. That's for everybody. The dumpster. Look at that big tent and, set up across there. You want to take a ride now and show them the camp store and the yes, boat launch? I do. do that. So it says to the right is the beaches, jetty area, and the day use area. And it's also the area where there's the alligator. Alligator Lake. I never saw one, but I heard they got some alligators oh up here. Oh my gosh, y'all. Michael took me off the boardwalk, <laughs> down a trail. Just to look for some alligators up here. Yeah. Inside. Okay, so now we're going to Gator Lake. Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Do this. Oh, look at that tree. How pretty. Hey. Yeah. You didn't tell me there was a trail. Y yeah. Don't you want to go to the overlook? No. <laughs> yeah. Hey, baby. I didn't tell you there was a trail. Baby, guess what? <laughs> I know they got some alligators up here. <laughs> no doubt. Let's go find them. Hey, look, 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 look. Do not approach, frighten, or feed the gators. What is that you always say? They don't know the difference between what you're feeding them and what you're feeding them with. <laughs> All right. Don't let them get me. You saw me handle up on that gate over there by uh. Palmetto. Palmetto. Oh, look at these trees. How beautiful. This is yeah, really Yeah, that's pretty nice. Area. I wonder where the alligator's at. All right. <laughs> we on, we hunting alligators? Yeah, <laughs> oh, man. That's a big lake. 
oh, wait a minute. You want me to go first? Oh, no, 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 no. I know how that works. <laughs> Baby, I won't let them alligators get you. Wow, that's a big one. I bet they got some gators up in here. Look at this. All right, I'm getting a little freaked out. It's all right. It's all right. They're probably not big. It don't matter. They're probably little. It don't matter how little, how Probably big. only about six, eight foot. That's little? That's a little baby gator. Okay. It's the wrong time of the year. A gator anyway. You tell that to these Florida alligators. So now we're going to the overlook. I ain't got no alligators up in here. <laughs> I ain't seen a one. Yet. Yet. You know what? I bet I bet some people are calling them little lizards. Gators. <laughs> oh look at that little gator right there. He's about this big. <laughs> So what size alligator are you hoping to see? A 15, 16 footer. <laughs> okay. I don't care how big of a gator it is, but it's big enough when you see me do this. Baby, back up. There's a big gator over there. We gotta go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look, another bird nest. It sure is. Everybody's mm. looking down, don't want to step on an alligator and forget all about them other things. Okay, well, this is pretty. Look at that overlook. <gasps> Man, look at that herring. Look, there's this other buddy over here. Look how pretty this is here, baby. Hey, how do you zoom back out? You see one? Nope. Right on so here's the camp store. We've been in there. They have shirts and stickers mm -hmm. if anybody cares for any. And we need to say thank you to Mr. Cameron. Yep, Mr. Cameron, thanks. The general manager yeah, of the he's camp the store. general manager, and he was awesome. He was a great help. It's one of those people, just salt of the earth. And we were so determined to get Shell Eye on, weren't we, Michael? Yes, we were. And he made it happen. And he made it happen. He actually called a local boat captain and arranged for us to go out to Shell Island. And we had the entire place to ourselves, didn't we? We know? did. We had Shell Island all to ourselves. Which meant we found a whole oh, lot hell. of sand dollars. It was a good rain last night. Yeah. We heard it on our camper. I need about another 12 inches. Okay, who's your captain? He is. I'm just his first mate. I'm sorry, sir. What's your name? Colt. 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 Do you mind being on video, Colt? No, I don't mind. You go by captain or skipper? <laughs> just Colt. Okay, good. That'll work. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. Wait, you're going to have to repeat that. We got to sweep all this sand off. No, not off. that. <laughs> I said, oh my goodness, look at this beautiful beach. Wow. <laughs> and there's not another soul on it, baby. Nice and slow, so we don't make people Do we need to tell them we're the only ones out here right now? We are the... <laughs> we're telling them now, we are the only Just soul out here. Sit right back so we can get away with before we get a copyright infringement. Uh, on this, this is beautiful. Yeah. You need to come see it. This is beautiful. 
it really is like a uncharted island. Look, you can't see anybody back there. Nope. That's because we're the only ones here. All extended stuff. This is beautiful. Look at that. Nice surf, green water. No facilities here though. Nothing. No snack bars, no restrooms, nothing. Nothing. See anybody. No it's one. Just pure nature. If Colt decided to leave us here, we'd have to walk back. Well, we'd have to swim back. Right? I mean, you look down the beach one way and then turn around and look down the other. No one else was there. So here's some of the day use area where the boat launch is. Mm -hmm. And there's a little playground in the back. I can get you a little bit of, a little mm -hmm. bit of shot of that. Nice playground Directly equipment in front of the there. Truck. Yeah. With a, a beautiful view of this grand uh, lagoon. Yep, I'm going to make that little loop around there so you can see some of the boats. Yeah, and they do rent kayaks and also, uh, what are the ones you stand up on? Wakeboards? Is that what they call them? I don't know if it's a wakeboard. Paddleboard. Board. Paddleboard. 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 Yeah. yeah. Those are, and of course, in season, they're rentable. And also, um, the ferry that goes out to Shell Island is uh, not running. You know, it's seasonal, too. So just check and make sure it's operational. But if not, check in the camp store. And maybe they can uh, find a boat captain to take you out there. Yep. In the off season. I felt, we felt like VIP. I that did. A nice. little not really a party barge but it was, it was a pontoon a pontoon yeah, but it was it, a smaller one it was really nice it was nice to be out here in the off season when there's no crowds and yeah we can just enjoy nature it's just beautiful yeah the boat ride was nice it wasn't too fast you only about talk. 15 minutes yeah. right one way and we got to see a lot of the grand lagoon and also the um did we the ever... golf yes we did mm -hmm. you take a left that goes out to the jetties, and oh, that's the point, Michael. The oh, point yes. where we did the, oh my gosh, we first saw the Gulf. Well, no, we had seen it from the pier, huh? But go out to the point where the jetties are. It is just beautiful. If you look right, you see Panama in the Panama City Beach in the distance, but you also see St. Andrews Beach was, it's huge. Yeah, it's a beautiful. And then to the left is the um, Grand Lagoon, and that's the way the boat, the boat captain took us out to Shell Island. You can see it from there, too. Yeah, it's the classic powdery sand, white mm. powdery sand and emerald green water. Oh, it's just, it's breathtaking. There's a... There's a jetty store out there, too, where you can get all kinds of beach supplies that you yeah, need. stickers little, and shirts. Stickers and shirts and floaties, and they also have drinks and little snacks. So, um, yeah, it was really nice out there. Clean bathroom facilities. And, and yep. So we're back to the campground. Back to the campground, and that was the campground drive through <laughs> Man, I hate leaving this place. I do, too. We should, we should come back again for a week. We do have more Florida campgrounds in our playlist, so if you're looking for another one, you can check us out there. Sure do. That's good. Like South Hill Hill was right near here. We have plans to go to <clears throat> Brayton Beach sometime this year. Next year. Next year. Sorry. Yeah, 2023. All right, folks. Here we are. And it's time for me to do that. Side drive through. No, I mean, <laughs> Michael. Look at you in the truck pulling in. A sight walk around. All right, hang on, folks. I'm going to do the sight walk around. Sight walk around. Talk 99. Oh, 
standing in the middle of the street. Got a nice, nice bit of uh, distance between sites here. Look at that view. Isn't that nice? The park's been redone. That a hurricane came through a couple years ago and really tore it up. They redid a lot. I saw some older photos and it looks really different than it did five years ago. There's Miguel. There's Jilly. Wondering what she's doing out here. You can probably tell it's a very windy day. So the the pads are packed gravel and they're very level both front and back side to side really really nice picnic tables are nice even come with a dog we have a grill and this is our backyard watch how cool this is there we go look at that that's how far away from the bay we are. I think that's the lower lagoon. Just a nice little walk through. You can see the wind or hear the wind. You can see the wind. There's the water. That's a resident sailboat. Give everybody an idea how wide open it is. This is such a nice campground. Our pit. Some nice gravel all the way around. The connections are real nice. This is a 50, 30, 20 amp. Let's see, I'm going to get a good look. light comes on at night. This is one of the, uh, this campground is one of the better ones for um, connections. See, I think, I think our camper is facing, I think that way right there, I think that's kind of a northwest. You see, we could probably go back another five feet. Our camper from end to end is 25 feet. So it looks like you can get a 30 footer in here with your truck or your tow vehicle. Nice, real nice place. Let's spin around here. You now I gotta show off that ram because they empty the fire pits, they clean up the trash, and they literally rake the gravel. See how windy it is. And you've got those little weights you see dangling down there. They do a good job, but you know, it's about a 20 mile an hour gust every now and then. So, uh, yeah, it's like walk around. Need another walk around here. Around down here. If you uh, find value in our videos, to the channel. It helps us to help other people. If you like the video, hit the like button, get some notif hit the notif notification bell. If you want to see more video of the campgrounds, I'll give you a treat back here. Check this out. I don't know if you can hear the wind or not. It's whooping. What I understand, they got some alligators up in there. Let's see, here we go. Come back up. Thanks for watching, folks. And as always, happy trails, happy camping. We lost out here in the bayou. <laughs>
by hitting. Check a couple of drops. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Like you were checking me pics. <laughs> my wife had a child or something out there. My water went out about it. Probably at the house eating crabs. Crab <laughs> takes forever to eat. They're gonna see me looking for shells right here and think, you're not gonna find anything on the inside of the jetty. They don't know how to find shells. <laughs> Either that or fish. They really need fish too. Navigation. Where would you like to go? St. Andrews State Park, Florida. Street Andrews State Park. This is everything I found. Which do you want? Number one, please. Street Andrews State Park, 4607 State Park Lane, Panama City, Florida. Do you want to add this as a waypoint or as the new destination? New destination. Okay, preparing. Navigation started. Did we get the reservations right? <laughs> She's taking us to Street Andrews. Unless they change the name, it's supposed to be St. Andrews. We're arriving for destination at 141 p.m. Awesome. Over by you, by the Delta, there's a river.